Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday. I have a quick message for you today. Don't have a lot of time, but I still wanted to hop on here. Um, and kind of a little bit off of yesterday's conversation. Yesterday, we talked a lot about how you have to recognize where you're feeling oppressed, right? Where you feel like you're a victim of your circumstance and where you feel like you're a victim of like some force that's greater than you, right? Whether it's like, I can't, I can't lose weight because now I've reached the age of 40 or I always have low back pain because you know how aging goes and like, right, you feel oppressed by your age or like, I can't find my partner because, you know, I don't know what it's like to be around in an emotionally available relationship because my parents never held space for my emotions or, you know, I've never had money and I never was raised with money. So I don't know, you know, I can never have money. And so I'm a, I'm a victim. I'm oppressed by money, whatever, whatever the oppressor is. And I go way more into that in yesterday's video. It's on my profile, but it's also on my YouTube. And so, and I talked a little bit about giving that a voice, holding space for that pain and recognizing that we need to consciously choose to believe that we are able to release those shackles, right? We are able to overcome that pain. We are able to uh, leave that structure of oppression, whatever that may be. And the word oppression is just like resonating with me for some reason. If that sounds too intense for you, I mean, take whatever word that feels good, but whatever you feel victimized by, whatever has control over you, right? Whichever you feel has a force that is bigger than you. And there has to be this reframe. There has to be this shift in perspective in the power, sorry, I'm still getting over my little cold here. <coughs> Excuse me. There has to be a shift in our perspective where we reclaim the power that we have given that external thing, where we have given that external thing of power, whether it's like, you know, our age, our metabolism, our money, our parents, our whatever the fuck, like the, the man, the system, right? You know, and we have to recognize the power of our choice, right? And so we have a choice to constantly say that we can't because of this external thing. And we also have a choice to actively give ourselves permission to believe in a new way and to believe in a new ideology and to believe in a new school of thought to where, you know what? Like, because, for example, because I never had money, because I never knew what it was like to have money, instead of thinking I'm always, I'm never going to have money, and I continue to show up in ways in my life that perpetuate the concepts and the belief systems that I'm never going to have money, I'm going to choose, like, what if I get to have money? I actually, I get to have money. And what if I get to choose into behaviors and patterns and identities that align with the fact of me having money, right? That's a choice. You have a choice, right? There's that famous phrasing, that famous phrase, hold on. That famous phrase that's like, whatever you're not changing, you're choosing, right? And like, we've heard this a thousand times. But if there is something that just feels wrong, that just feels heavy, that just feels like this is fucked up, in your being, right? At some point, some things are gonna not sit right with soul. Some things are gonna not sit right in your fucking system. Whether it's this job, you're like, I literally cannot, like I am breaking out in highs every day because of the anxiety of that my job puts on me. But like, why? Like you're, you're choosing that. You're choosing, you're actively choosing to continue to do that, right? But why are you choosing it? You're choosing it because you believe that you have to do that in order to get the money that you so desire to live a life that you feel that you deserve, right? Which is super convoluted. And there's a lot of systems of power that perpetuate that belief that we have to sacrifice our soul. We have to sacrifice part of us in order to get what we want, right? And maybe that's because of the infiltration of the belief systems of our parents, of our community, of where we went to school. And this is just one example, right? But like, you have to recognize that you are being held down by that structure of power and that you have the power of choice to not live a life where you break out in hives every day because you are so fucking stressed about your job that you hate, that just, that pays the bills. You have a choice, you're choosing that. You have to acknowledge that you're choosing that, right? 
Just like, I don't know, let me think of another example. Um, let's say you, you're believing that you, you have to starve yourself in order to be skinny, skinny, whatever. That's like popular word in female language, but you know, fit, thin, I don't, a strong is a, is a more empowering word, but whatever, you know, the, the narratives of like, you know, nothing feels as good as skinny, nothing tastes as good as skinny feels and all that kind of shit. And like, I mean, to a degree, like, yeah, if you feel good in your body, nothing feels better than that. But I don't know if the word skinny is the right word to use there. That's most appropriate. But my point being is like, okay, you are choosing to believe into the belief system. You're choosing to decide that you have to starve yourself to be skinny. And you really fundamentally believe that's the only way you can be skinny, right? Well, you're choosing that. You chose that. And and that, what if that, that's not yours to choose? That was fed to you, right? By the media, maybe by your parents, by your community that like, maybe you should get a new community, but the people that you've been surrounded by, but maybe you didn't know any better, right? And that was just your circumstances. And, but it feels wrong. Like it, it's like, well, I have to do this, but it feels fucking wrong. Like it doesn't sit right with my soul. Just like, like me having to like slave away at work that gives me so much anxiety that I hate doesn't feel right in my soul just like I, me I have to starve myself to look good in my body does not feel right in my soul just like what's another like oh I have to <clears throat> like be with this guy I have to stay in this relationship right because he has a really good job and he's nice to me and he makes he makes a lot of money right or girl or whatever and because like then I'll be then I'll be safe and then I'll be secure right but like Ugh, like, I mean, he's nice and he treats me nice and he's good and he's polite and he's has a like he has ambition, but like something does not sit right in my soul. Like something's off, right? Like it, there, the energy isn't that it's not a puzzle piece click. Like something's off and it's not logic, right? It's not mental. It's not you can't t tally it up on paper. It's a vibe thing. It's a vibe thing that you know the energy is not a hundred percent calibrated to what you know you actually deserve and what you desire and what your heart truly yearns for and so all of these situations i just gave you a situation about the body about the job about the partner where it's like you are at you have to admit and this is not blame and this is not shame and this is not guilt and be like tisk tisk like oh my god what the fuck's wrong with you no this is Oh my God, like I'm choosing this. Like I actually, I, I actually am con continually saying yes to this. I continue to say yes to something that kind of feels like I should do it. And on paper, right, it's it's lining up and it's it feels like it makes logical sense. Like it makes sense in the head. But deep down, deeper in my heart of hearts, it, it shits off, right? It does not sit right. And we do so many things to distract us from that deeper feeling of it not sitting right, right? Like we might like indulge a little bit too much in alcohol and there's nothing wrong with alcohol. For so long, I like thought that <laughs> in order to be like successful personal development, whatever, you had to like not drink alcohol and shit. And I'm like, no, I'm, I don't think I'm ever going to not like have a glass of wine. But anyway, but there's a, there's a boundary around that, right? Are we... Are we using alcohol to numb how we're really feeling deep down? Are we using pills and and other substances, weed maybe, to, to numb how we're feeling deep down? Are we using a, a big to-do list, a big task like, oh, I got to do this and I got to call the neighbors and I got to make the casserole and I got to do the laundry and I got to go to the mailman and I got to blah, 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 to numb how we're really, really feeling deep down, right? We do, we engage in these patterns of distraction that really masquerade as production, as productivity or as leadership or as pleasure, which in turn we view as productive because we get to hang out with our friends or we get to, you know, let loose and drink alcohol, which we feel is productive because it allows us to fill up our cup to go back into, you know, the life that we fucking hate. And really deep down, all of these behaviors are a form of distraction of what we know to be true deep down in our soul and it's not letting us, it's not giving us the chance, we're not giving ourselves the permission, the allowance to admit that we are, and taking responsibility to admit that we are actively choosing things that we do not fundamentally want. So after we recognize that like, you know, we might have been feeling victimized by something like some external structure, like the money or the relationship or 
the family or the whatever, we have to decide what we're choosing. We have to actively have a conversation about with ourselves about what we are choosing and what we continually choose. Okay. And so what, and then we have to ask ourselves if what we're choosing is in alignment with what we actually want. And it's like, oh my God, like I'm, I'm saying yes to something that I don't actually want. And in order to do that, we got to like recognize our distractions. We got to recognize where we're not giving our self time and space to really sit with the deeper feelings deep in here, deep in our soul and be like, fuck, like this, like, what am I doing? You know, like, do I want this? Or like, does this just make me feel like safe? Right. And if this in a false form of safety, right. It's like an eggshell of safety where it's like really deep down that shit is flimsy. And that's gonna like the big bad wolf, right. Huff and you puff and you blow the house down. Like that is made of straw. That is made of hay, whatever. I don't know what the three little pigs made their house out of but what the third one was like the strong one made out of brick or something and the <laughs> the wolf couldn't blow the house down right <clears throat> excuse me it's like can your is your house like blow down if someone just like pushes on it a little bit too hard right like I, I, is it is something are you continuously engaging in something that does not fundamentally feel good for you deep down like your how you're treating your body or how you're what you're accepting in relationship or what you're accepting as a career and your professional identity and what you're actually spending your life doing is it in alignment with what you actually want or are you just distracting yourself or are you choosing something to make you feel safe to continue to victimize yourself to whatever structure of power you feel has over you you know it's like well i won't make money unless i do this job i hate well why are you choosing that belief you're choosing that and those beliefs aren't yours and we have to really really shine the light on that we have to really get honest about ourselves with ourselves about what we want and then we have to decide to actively choose that that's possible for us right and it's the act of giving ourselves permission to go against the grain and instead of victimizing ourselves to oh i gotta do this to get that i gotta stay in this relationship because of that i gotta do this for my body because of that even though it doesn't feel good deep down instead of being a victim to all that bullshit instead of feeling oppressed by that whatever structure of power i just mentioned right the body the person the whatever category of life feel has a, you feel has a hold on you instead of being a victim to that thing instead of feeling oppressed by that thing you have to be a victim the one place you're allowed to be a victim the one place you're allowed to full 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 submission and surrender to is soul is what you know feels good beyond logic beyond the psyche beyond the mental Allow yourself to be a victim to that. Be like, well, this actually all looks good on paper. I make a lot of money. It's paying off my loans. The partner's providing me st safety. He's really nice to me, but something is not uh, like there's a there's a lack of truer connection that's really in integrity with what I know I need that defies logic, that defies mental ticking of pros and cons it's deeper than that it's an energy thing it's a vibe thing and you have to allow yourself to submit to that because the only way to actually achieve any level of success of fulfillment of inner peace of inner knowingness that you have lived a life that you deserve that you're satisfied with that you can go to sleep at night and be like yes fuck yeah i did it i gave my all i'm showing up in the way that i know i need to is to surrender to soul and you can even say is to victimize yourself to soul because soul spirit your fuck yeah energy is the only thing that should have a greater power over you because it is tapped into the greater knowledge of intuition and spirit and source and whatever language and terminology resonates with you right that's what has the power over you right not not the structures of money and the structures of politics and the structures of of rules and regulations that you feel like you have to abide by the 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 ideologies of your parents that you took on or the partnership that you feel like you have to have by a certain age in order to have kids does it feel right in here if it doesn't feel right in here it ain't right it's not right and you have to acknowledge where you are choosing things that do not feel right fundamentally in your soul and then you have to give yourself permission to allow yourself to either let go or have hard conversations or do whatever you have to do to navigate the waters of you 
realizing that you were saying yes to things that weren't actually meant for you and then course correct and say yes to things that are meant for you deep down on the inside. And this takes a lot of inner work, a lot of inner healing, a lot of inner child bonding, a lot of mindset work, a lot of self-trust, a lot of cultivation of confidence and knowingness and self-soothing. And there are so many variables to this, to recognizing our oppressor, where we've been feeling victimized, giving a name for it, holding space for that pain, dis realizing that we're actively choosing to be a victim to something outside of ourself, then coming home to what we know that we need deep inside and deciding to choose that instead of the things that we don't actually want, and then cultivating the trust and the knowingness and the belief in ourself that we actually are able to achieve and to step into the life that we desire that feels good on a deep, 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 deep soul level, right? And this is a journey and this is a process and this is exactly what we do in my course, Badass the Journey of Limitless Power. This is also exactly what I do with my one-on-one -on -one clients. And so if any of this resonates, if any of this, I feel like I just really went, went off there. I just went off on the full rant, the full, full ranty rant. I knew I wanted to get to certain aspects today, and so I feel like I did a like a Candyland loop-de-loop -loop there in my explanation, but in summary, <coughs> excuse me, it's the recognition of the oppressor, it's the recognition that you're choosing the oppression of, of having power of you, it's the acknowledgement that you might be choosing things that don't fundamentally feel good for you, and then it's the reframe, the reframe that you have the power of choice, and you have to give yourself permission to choose what feels good for you, even if it doesn't look good on the outside, it's got to feel good on the inside, that's the main main thing which takes profound self-trust because you all odds might be stacked against you in terms of like people might be like what the fuck are you doing or you might have to let go of a partnership or friendships or relationships or a career that really made you feel safe in a in a in some sort of stability human level but in your soul it still felt wrong right it's a process it's a process it's a process and you have to hold space for yourself in that process. And it's helpful to be in a container where space is held for you. That's exactly why I've created the programs that I've created, specifically my course, Badass, The Journey of Limitless Power, and being, being around other people who are on this journey. Because healing happens individually, but it also happens collectively, okay? And so if you have any questions about any of that, obviously DM me, message me. I'm here. Check out more details to join my course badass the journey of limitless power to step in to this initiation to get what you really want by naming the things that have power over you and by reclaiming your power and cultivating that relentless self-trust and that confidence and getting what you actually want because you have finally surrendered to soul to what you really want and to the only thing that actually fucking matters which is the thing that is true for you in your heart and you gave yourself permission to go for it so link in my bio there's more information right there it's just titled badass and obviously i do this work in much 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 more depth that's a group program and I go into much more depth individualistically in my one-on-one -on -one individual coaching containers, various options for that. Um, one month, three month, six month, whatnot. Um, it's all listed out on the application, which is also with the link in my bio. There are payment plans available for both. Message me for more questions to work something out, how we can work together to figure it out. But I, this is the work this is just the work that fucking matters. No, not, no other work of trying to get to where you want to go matters if you don't actively acknowledge where you are being victimized by external factors and then where you reframe and you become a, a, a victim. I don't like that word for this, but you become a submissive to soul. Stop being a submissive to the things that other people think that you should do or that society thinks you should do surrender to soul and that's the only way anything is ever going to actually work out i know it sounds fucking crazy because it's not logical it's so led but i swear to god that is the only way that anything is ever gonna feel like it clicks in like it's meant for you like it's yes 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 okay so you have fuck yeah energy inside of you and you know what that fuck yeah energy feels like it's like yes 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 and it's your responsibility to fuel it